News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman. This is the Tuesday edition of uh, the Tiger Financial News Network Noon Update. And we're looking at the Dow up 180 points at 30,041. Remember yesterday we were talking about this uh, 9th of November high, and you've had just slightly higher highs with the trend line moving up. Just below it, I put another trend line, and that I call the Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. Got repelled right in that level yesterday. Pulled back and went underneath the uh, trend line support. Hit the 14 period moving average, just nicked it to the downside, closed down below, and now it's up and it's even up above the green nine period moving average. But all of this is in a containment area, and that's really important. A close in the 30,560 level will be really positive. A slide going to even now on a short term basis underneath 29,700 would be quite negative uh, in terms of looking at it as a consolidation, sideways consolidation. SP at this point is uh, also up. Dow's up 0.67 percent. S&P's up 0.68 percent. So they closed up 24, almost 25 points at 36.72. Underneath the high that was, unlike the Dow, it did not make the S&P. It made a high of 37.12.39. And that was on the 8th, uh, on the 9th of uh, December. And it's just been stuck in a range. If it closes above that level, it pre preferably in the 37.20s, that would be really positive. But if it closes underneath the low that was made on the 11th of 36.65, we've got ourselves a consolidation. And for, it really is kind of unfolding right now, but in the near term, not the short term, just the near term. The QQQ having a good day today. It's up 0.34%, up a dollar at 305.08. <clears throat> Now, this is going to be important. Why? Because it's really close to the 308 point, no, 306 point, 308.60. Sorry, I had to switch around. I was trying to do it by memory. And um, at 305.07, if there is a push into the 309.20, it's called a 310 area. That'll be very positive, very positive also for the weekly chart. But in the meantime, it's still stuck in a range, but not, not breaking down. What's really interesting is that gold. Gold has gone up $20 at 1852. Still stuck in the range, but this is really good if gold in the next few days can get to the 1874 level. I think that's a very positive sign. So we're watching it closely. I'll be back with my Tiger Technicians Hour in a few minutes. Hope you can stay. I hope you can be there. Also, check out more people. Don't forget Tiger Dollars on sale. So, any newsletter is 